What's going on, everybody? My name is George Belayo. I've been a member here at the Wayworld Outreach Church for about a year and a half now. I didn't grow up in a godly home. I grew up in the total opposite. By the time I was born, my father was already serving a 19-year sentence in prison. So I never really got, I never got to meet him. I grew up in a fatherless home. By the time I was 12 years old, my mother also got caught up in a drug conspiracy indictment and got sentenced to five years. So I was left with, with no parents at all and I had no right guidance. And it led me to, to the street to find the love that I never had at home. I got into drugs, smoking, young age sex, um, gang banging. By the time I turned 16, my mom came out of prison, but I was already like too deep in the streets to turn back. March 15th of 2018, I had some, a very rude awakening. I was shot eight times by San Bernardino PD. Get on the ground, hey boy, you too, sir. Get on the ground. Hey, put your hands up. I was shot through my neck, my spine, bullets hit my carotid artery, my jugular vein. I also suffered a stroke, which damaged the whole right side of my body. After that, I was I was in the hospital for six months and I was physically unable to do nothing. I was unable to walk. I wasn't even able to talk because the two bullets that went through my neck hit my vocal cords. So I would move my lips, but nothing would come out. I had a breathing trach, I had a colostomy bag. The only thing that I did not lose during that time was my ability to see and my ability to hear. And it was during those times where nurses would just randomly come in and start talking to me about God. Like I had this nurse tell me, like, whenever I take care of you, it's God taking care of you. I had this other nurse tell me, you should read this. She, she brought me a little pamphlet, had the book of John in it. And I started reading and reading and reading because I went through a time thinking I'm never going to get out of here. I'm never going to be healed. I'm never going to change. But it was during those reading the book of John where I started believing maybe I can be healed. Maybe there is a God that can fix me from all this damage that I went through. A year after my release from the hospital, I went back to prison for two years for a drug conspiracy charge. And during those two years, I focused on just, for some reason, I wanted to read the Bible. It did take me a while to heal. I took like, probably like a year and a half to heal physically. But even when I was healed physically, my mind was still at the wrong place. There was always something within me trying to fight against changing. But the more I read, the more I prayed, God just changed me. The more I was exposed to His Word, the more I turned more like it. It was then where I knew that God was calling me and I needed to live for Him. So I already had my mindset that when I came out, I was going to give my life for Christ and live for Him. I got out May 27, 2022. Two days later, I came to the Wayworld Outreach and I got baptized and I've been coming here ever since. And it transformed me completely to the way that I dress, to the way that I speak, to the way that I think. Now my only desire is to live for God, to maybe reach those who've been going through the same thing that I've went through before I came to Christ, I was I was broken physically and spiritually, emotionally, mentally, I was broken. I was deceived. But because of the Word of God, because of what was done on the cross, I believe that by His stripes, I was truly healed. And I'm here today standing and talking to you fully healed physically and now spiritually because of what was done on the cross.